Hello and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europa Universalis 4. When we last left off, we were uh, still sort of uh, stuck in this war that the Ottomans started. Which is fine. Um, Lithuania, I really wish I could get you to break your personal union with Poland or with Lithuania or with whichever way it was. Um, it would just be so much nicer on me if you could do that. I'll just go and kill these guys for them. Okay. I'll lose prestige because stability is far more important to me at the moment. So, in theory, I could reform the government right now. Well, I can't because I don't have the legitimacy, but when I get the legitimacy, I could reform the government. Um, the thing is, I would lose that nice CB against everybody. Um, and I'm not sure it's entirely something I want to do. Just because, you know, it helps me take over all this. I guess I do need to start pushing out this way, don't I? I mean, regardless of what happens there. Get some money. We're fine letting them stay. Um, let's see if there's any other ones that have particularly high value. No, these. No, this one actually. And this one. And this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that will improve our trade power in Astrakhan so that we can collect more money. Um, kind of not entirely sure why... You know, would sort of like to move my capital to Ostrakhan, if I'm being honest. But I suppose we're okay at the moment. Supply limit 18, supply limit 24. Achieve religious unity. Dagestan? Dagestan. Oh, okay, that was given to me. Thank you. Um, kind of would prefer to give that to this guy so that he can he can manage it. This I will transfer to you. This I will transfer to Oh there, yeah. Oh, okay, and they just transfer it straight to the Ottomans. I don't want to core that province. It costs way too much. 100% coring cost. Yeah, no thank you. Give that to somebody else there. Uh, have you cored all these yet? Yeah, you have. Okay. Just, uh, you know, keep an eye out for things here. Okay, so they just gave us a bunch of provinces. That's nice. Um, we'll take reduce over extension mission. Not sure if I will core it. I would kind of just like to wait until we finish this war. Diplomatic reputation. Yeah, that's not going to hurt me at all to have higher Diplo rep. Right, you my country, you won. Yeah, that's nice. Ok, 
Okay. So, first of all, let's... Pull back everybody here. Hey. Uh... Cell province, do you want this one? Yes, you do? Awesome. Uh... Oh, good. So... I... I died. And then my heir, my 422 Timur Timurid, also died. Current heir Timur will die. Muslim Muhammad, the first Sharia gone. Uh, okay. So we'll do that. Missionary strength. National unrest. We'll take all those. Okay. Um, and here, I want to see if I can sell these provinces to our friends here. Can I sell you? Will you accept it? No. Okay, what about that one? What about that one? Nope. Okay, so I'm on my own. 46, 82... 61, unless I want to release Siberia. I currently only get, well, I currently get four. So, yeah, I'll release Siberia. That's... Oh, is this a Siberian province, too? Yeah, okay. So we'll... Pull back to here, and then... Uh, yeah, Siberian nationalists, so that should create subjects. Siber. And then you. Uh, you don't have any claims up here either. Good. Okay, it's level 3 diplomat, that's great. Uh, Muram. on Maram. Awesome. This uh, lets dissolve this alliance. Uh, and let our troops uh, get back home and kind of replenish a bit and then I want to actually go to war there. Okay, well, at least he's a good, uh, good leader, I think, at least. Um, uh, trade mode. Samarkand, Kazan. Kazan's up there, but it doesn't feed into anything that we want. Genoa controls in Crimea. Siberia, still Uzbek controlled. Okay, that's all fine. See, because now it's a question of do I try to reform the government and deal with the, the fallout of that, uh, as well as losing my really nice CV, or do I try to uh, catch up on tech here? and get uh, maybe tech level 7 so I can use, I don't know, military ideas or something. Okay. Uh, can I see what your force limit is? Yes, I can, actually. You have 8 force limit. Not a lot for having such a big chunk of land here. Oh, marriage from the Ottomans. Yes, we want that. Uh, we'll go royal marriage. No, we can't do that. Royal marriage here. Yes. Royal marriage of Siberia. Awesome. You still allied with the Ottomans. Who's back in the Timurids? So if I called Yarkand into war. 
Rotund. 11,000 troops. Uh, truce with me until 1519. That's fine. If I called your con into the war, they would call the Timurids in. Um, but I'd really kind of just rather... Go and fight uh, Oirat Horde here. Really, a 2 1 3? That's pretty bad. A few, 25% aggressive expansion. Alright, let's do that then. Lower inflation costs. How am I doing on troops? I could actually build one more, but that's alright. I don't really want to. Okay, I just want to let Oirot come to us first. Uh, so let's go vassal behavior supportive. Uh, is there a province in here that I could sit on that would have that one, I suppose? Actually, you should go here. You should go anything with, I mean, Uzbek, yeah, but that's... We'll go there, okay. And if I could, of course, make them attack me into the mountains, I would not at all complain. Five inflation, one stability, how much should bank loans be? Uh, take that, please, yeah. More than happy to. 51% piety. We really want less because we'd like to tech up here. That is at all possible. Accepted vassalization of Muscovy. Let me try to catch you, 20th of October, 21st of October. No, of course not. that mission, thank you. Maybe somebody else will have declared war as well. Maybe my allies' troops will be making their way over here. Nope. Okay. Uh, so let's set behavior to everybody to no focus. They will decide their own strategies, maybe. Because I'd really appreciate if they wanted to, you know, come over here and freaking help me. Novgorod with Reconquest. Twentieth of January.
Okay, so let's send you around here and to this one. Okay, we beat them, and then you'll be there on the 11th of April. And then I will be there as well. New army can actually fall back here for a bit. Yeah, not gonna hurt to improve uh, our military strength, definitely. Hoboskar, and you'll be in Tobiakti. Oh, if I just head here, when will I be there? 17th of May? Can probably catch a lot of them there. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. Unless... No, I'm okay there, actually. You can reinforce a bit. Um, hey, vassals, all the you vassals over here. But we attack. Will you, will you attack now, please? Please, please, you help. Please help. help please. Hang out here a bit, reinforce, and then we'll come back and start sieging through some more stuff. Uh, let's see. One, two. Anything else that gives me two? There, I'll just do that. I would like to get up uh, high enough to actually... Well, but again, it's like, once you get that, that high up, it's so close to just being able to reform your government. But I guess I probably shouldn't do that, right? I should probably wait. Just because I do like that ability to actually siege through people, or attack people for lots of stuff. And you're only at four, and I'm only at four, so it's not like I'm far behind any uh, nomads here. Yeah, I guess I'll set, turn my sights away from the Timurids for a moment. They have seven diplomatic power? Seven, seven diplo rank? Wow. I mean, I'm at eight military, but military is probably the thing that I need to get the next idea group for. Lose piety. I like losing piety because that helps my tech costs go down. You go here. Um, you have replenished, so can you come up here, please? Just because attacking into the mountains will make them very uh, sad, I think. So I wish I knew where the hell my other allies were. Accumulate money, 286. Yeah, sure. I do tend to accumulate money pretty quickly, somehow. Two, one, zero. Well, maybe if they march all the way over there, they'll actually... I'll be there on the 3rd of August. Okay, not going to make it in time. 30th of August, yeah. 
Just let them go and die in the wastelands there, I think. Uh, that being said, we will pick this up next time. So, I'm Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4, and we'll see you later. Take care.